dance here. Again. Hey, I dance here. Come, 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 come. Mama. Where are you going? I'm going to buy popcorn. Again? Yes. How many times do you have to go and buy popcorn? Every day. Mama, you don't even know what's inside the popcorn. What is in the popcorn? Okay, let's make a bet. If we go there and buy some popcorn, you taste it and you don't like it, ban me from going there. Ban you. Let's go. Of course, it's the tastiest thing I've ever put in my mouth. When did you find this place? About a week ago. A week? Only a week and you've been going there every day? Yes. <laughs> when you put the thing in your mouth, you go there every day as well. What flavours do they have? There's sweet, there's salt, there's rainbow, there's chocolate, there's caramel. Oh, okay. And they also sell candy floss. Oh, they have candy floss as well? Yeah. Yeah, I do uh, popcorn. Oh wow! Hi. Hi. Thank you. Freeman popcorn. Yes, I like it. Okay, so my son has been coming here like all the time, and so yeah. I want to try a bit of everything. A bit of everything. All the flavors. Okay. I can do that for you. okay. What do you want? Uh, can I have caramel and rainbow, please? Okay. Thank you. Everything, thank you so much. Oh my god, this tastes so good. I told you. It actually tastes like the popcorn that I had in America hmm. recently when I went to the cinema. Oh hmm. my god, it tastes so good. I guess I win the bet. You haven't won no bet. My boss, is this made in Ghana? Yes, yes. We do everything right here. You do everything right here? Everything it's not imported? Right. No. Is the manager here? Yes, yes. Please, can I speak to them, please? Thank you. Mm. So all of you have been coming here? All of us. Hey! Every single pocket money that I give you, this is where you oh come in. Oh my god! Hi! Hi! Hey! What are you doing here? My son brought me here. He's been coming here and he's been using all his pocket money here. And I came in this afternoon and I asked where he is and he said he's going to Freeman Popcorn. The famous popcorn shop. Yes. <laughs> so I was like, yeah. So I was like, I'm going to follow him yeah. to see what it's all about. He's so a this, loyal customer. He's a loyal. Eh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Very loyal. I see. Good to see you again. How mm -hmm. is your sister and your other brothers? Oh, How are they doing? Fine. That's good. Yeah, yes, I'm coming here. Oh, please, you have to do take away for them. No, <laughs> oh. that's not. <laughs> so, sorry, your name again? Rhoda. Rhoda. Okay, so this is all yours? It's all mine. I come by. Good to see you. I'm you so too. happy you are here. I'm really, really happy. <laughs> Thank you so much You're for coming. You're welcome. <laughs> this is great. I mean, I didn't know there was a, a popcorn shop by our house and it tastes really good. He, my, my son also said that it's made in Ghana, is that correct? It's made in Ghana, all done here, nest very close to where you live. Wow. Excellent, yeah. So 
Are you a diasporan? Are you from Ghana? Like where, where? I was actually born in Ghana, but I grew up in Australia. Okay. I grew up in Australia and then I moved back 2018 and then... You started this? Yes. What made you move back? Um, I was sick of living there, to be honest with you. I've done everything, tried. I started my career in nursing. And oh, then well, I yes. Yes. Yay. <laughs> nah. Okay, what type of nurse are you? General, medical, General. surgical. Okay. And then I lost interest along the way. Okay. And then I moved back to project. So I ended up being a project manager mm -hmm. in Australia and then came back to Ghana, did project and then this. You know, there's a lot of people in the diaspora that do get fed up, a mm. lot of them are fed up, but they yeah. still keep grinding and doing mm -hmm. the job that they're doing back mm -hmm. in, in the diaspora. Mm -hmm. What was the trigger for you to move back? I wasn't fulfilled. I was happy, I was making money, but I wasn't fulfilled. And there was this urge and passion in me to do something that I really, really, really wanted fulfillment wow. out of. So it, it all boils down to fulfillment. Fulfillment. Yes. So, popcorn came to f fulfill your <laughs> destiny. <laughs> I tell you, I tell you, yes. It but did. then, you know, nobody will think of doing popcorn. I'm sure if you had told your friends mm -hmm. in Australia, oh, I'm coming to Ghana to come and do popcorn, they'll yeah. be like, ah, Rhoda, are you okay? Like, a nurse, <laughs> are you okay? Yeah. Like, so how, how was that? Um, look, I had about 70% of people around me at that time when I started saying no. And it's very important because when you have a dream or a vision, you know it yourself and you know the burning sensation in you and the passion that you have as well. So when I have the, the, the dream, it, it all started as a dream. Let me just rewind oh, wow. back. So I remember last year in May, I had a dream walking down the street of La Paz. And it was like a man dressed up in a white boo-boo, like I would say like overall white. Okay. And it was a tall man that said to me, oh, meba, you have to sell popcorn and you'd be successful. Wow. So I was like, popcorn? I don't know anything about popcorn. Like a nurse and a project manager in an oil and gas firm, this is all new. So I sat down and think about the dream and it was like, oh my God, how do I do it? Who do I contact to start this? So I waited till November last year. So it's just been only a year. Wow. And um, I contacted some few people, did research, traveled to California to learn, you know, because it was you actually travel to learn. Yes, yes. Just from the dream. Yes. But sometimes the dreams are not. But yes. you felt that this was an this actual was dream. This was it because I've never in my life had a dream connecting to my career before. Okay. Because. I remember in Australia, you just look at the course outline and you choose like a career. Oh, I really want to do nursing mm -hmm. because of A, B, and C yeah. reasons. And it boils down to what you asked before, fulfillment. Mm. I wasn't fulfilled. I was just working because I was making so much, much money. money. So this was very special to me because it was a dream and it was very specific with the name as well. Prima and also about Yes, and never right. dream. Wow. <laughs> wow, okay, okay. So it was very specific. Okay. I wrote it down. And then it kept coming every month. So June came, it's like, aren't you doing anything about it? July came, aren't you doing anything about it? So when it got to November, I was like, this is it. I need to start something. Wow. And wow. So you went it. to America? Yes. And then you went to where they make the popcorn? In Los Angeles, In Los a Angeles. company called Pop Popcornopolis. Sorry, Pop Popcornopolis. Popcorn okay, <laughs> so you went there and you just told them that you want to do training. Like, how did you go? I about emailed it? them. Okay. So I have been on YouTube. I'm always on YouTube doing research, and um, also I, you know, emailed them. So I went on Google and I was like, popcorn in Los Angeles and Chicago because they are known for popcorn. Mm -hmm. So I did that. And then I went to Popcornopolis. I emailed them. They weren't responding. I kept emailing back Good. and forth. Good. I was very persistent. And then they reached out to me and they were like, okay, you can pass by. And there was another company called the Popcorn Factory. Okay. That is also in LA as well. So I went there and I raised my hands and I was like, I want to start a popcorn business on a small scale. I don't have money to start a proper, proper production, but I'm passionate to learn. Mm -hmm. I'm passionate to grow. So how can I start on a smaller scale and then grow? And they gave me so many help. They gave me their brochures their information, how to reach them, what, wow. what I can do to start on a lower scale, wow. and then this is it. Do you think that if it was a business here, and you went to them to say, look, I also want to start a popcorn business. So say you're in Ghana, mm -hmm. and you go to a Ghanaian business that's huge mm -hmm. in popcorn. Do you think they would have given you the same information? No. 
No. Why do you think that is? You know, um, I feel that Western cultures understand the meaning of um, healthy competition, one, and mentorship and growth. They understand that principle because they feel proud knowing that they are doing something right for somebody to raise their hands and be like, look, I'm a young girl. I need to learn. This is what I have passion for. Show me how to do it. Whereas in Ghana, it's like, oh, you are still in my idea. Okay, so we are my idea. Oh, the person wants to be exactly like me. Maybe they think I'm making X, Y, Z amount. So I feel like mentorship, it's not as strong as it is in Western culture. So they wouldn't have. I don't believe so. Mm. I don't believe so. So in about five to six years, if you're that big, if somebody walks through the door, would you help them just like the person that helps you in that company? Yes, it's part of my business plan. Wow. It's part of my, this is just phase one of what I have to do regarding the popcorn business. Wow. So mentorship, education and training is part of what we would like to do as well to grow the brand. So definitely every year we would have specific amounts of people, let's say 10, okay. that we would train and, 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 and equip them to be able that's to start fantastic. their own popcorn businesses as well. That's amazing. And I yeah. think for us, the diaspora, I think that's what we need to be bringing yeah. back. Our skills yeah. to be able to train the local people yes. Yes. to be able to also start their own business. Yes. So that's kudos to you. Thank that's you. really good. <laughs> so you finished America and then you came to Ghana. I what happened to after? Ghana. Mm -hmm. I came to Ghana. It wasn't easy because I, I was the only one with so much information. I came with different, <laughs> different information from all these companies, but I was like, how do I start? It's capital intensive, even with a small scale. Yeah. It wasn't easy because these products that they use to do their popcorn is not common in Ghana. Right. Or I would say there isn't a lot in Ghana. So you have to import some of these local products that they have in America here in Ghana to start it. And also location was a problem because the vision that I had was not only um, to package the popcorn and sell, but also to engage to my customers as right. well. So I needed location, I needed good staffing, which is training and development, yep. because it's quite new industry for me as well. So it was very, very difficult for me to put all of this together and actually start. Wow. So we started not too long ago, but putting all these information together was a lot of work. Mm. Was a lot and of finding work. the right location. So how was it like negotiating mm. for this? <laughs> It, it, it wasn't easy you know you start off by telling friends and family and then it moves to agent and <laughs> they'll tell you meet me two o'clock you'll be driving around a crowd they'll even turn up at four and you'll be driving ar around a crowd and then some quoted in dollars i don't know why everything is in dollars in ghana everything yeah. so everyone was quoting dollars and i knew that it was a popcorn business and the space i was looking for i wasn't getting so as soon as I saw this space, I was like, this is it. Because right. to start on a small scale, I would need a bigger space to do production. Yeah. So all the shops that I had was like single shops, but ridiculously expensive. And that wasn't fitting the dream and the vision. That you had. Exactly. And how, how, how long did you get the, the shop for? Did you have to pay five years, three years? Three. Three years. Three years, yeah. Full payment. Full payment, down payment. No, no wow. negotiable at all. Wow. Yeah. So that's yeah. a lot for like that's a, a lot startup. for a startup business it's a lot yeah. so where does the production happen like do you have it somewhere and then you bring it here like how does it no it happens all here where at the back here the sign that says staff only everything is made in ghana everything is done here we are fda approved we are ghana standard authority approved so you so went we through do. all that process i went through all it took about three months because it okay. it's so interesting i'll tell your viewers this that I would advise anyone that wants to start a business when it comes to food, health, maybe cosmetic, anything to do with food and drugs. Yeah. Please do your research and give yourself about two to three months ahead of schedule okay. so that you could do that and get the certification because okay. I didn't know. And the interesting thing is when it comes to popcorn, there is no FD approval. It wasn't part of the list. Oh, it wow. wasn't part of the list. So you brought it? Yeah, so I took it there, they're like, popcorn, how do we test for it? Yeah. And I'm like, but I can't sell to consumers without not getting approval. Yeah. And they're like, okay, so we don't know what sort of bacteria we have to check, but you give it to us, we'll figure it out. So I had to leave it to them and it was like a back and forth. Oh. And then finally they gave me a list of um, checks that they have to do okay. to test it and make sure that it is safe for consumers to have as well. Mm -hmm. So it is FDA approved it is okay to have it. Fantastic. <laughs> That's brilliant. It's good to know 
that you know you've come and you're doing the right processes because it's really important yes. that when you come you follow the rules of the country you do. right you have to so what do you think the preman popcorn brings to the table in ghana what difference have you brought to ghana yes so there is still more room for improvement but for a brand preman popcorn we've done different flavors so traditionally popcorn in ghana was basically sugar and salt yeah. and maybe milk powder <laughs> yeah and then the kids love it. It is fine, it is okay, but I realize that there is a lot of room for improvement and growth. Yeah. So what I've done differently is I've incorporated other flavors. For example, if you come to our shop, you would have rainbow, you'd have caramel, you'd have chocolate, mm -hmm. then um, traditional flavors, which are the sugar and the salt. And then we have like a special um, flavor per week. So for example, you could walk in on Monday and have a cinnamon popcorn. Mm. You could walk in on Tuesday and have a garlic salt as oh, a special. Oh, wow. So, you know, when I went to California, I remember they have about 130 different flavors. flavors. So this is nothing. This is just a starting. A starting. Mm. So eventually next week, I'm thinking of expanding our flavors to about 10. Like, this is five, so extra five. An extra five. Yes. So and you make the flavors here, you're not importing it? No, I make everything here at the back everything here. how everything so Where? i've got here so i've got a commercial machine i'll show your, your 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 team members the commercial machine and we could do about seven to ten kilos within three minutes what yes i want to see <laughs> yes come come with me <laughs> leave my bag patrol my bag you knock knock wow yeah what you have all of this here yes yes a lot of people don't know that we do our production behind here. That's fantastic. Is, yeah. <laughs> so production is happening right now. What are the, which flavor are they doing? Caramel. This is caramel? Caramel. So we will just walk through what we do here. So we start off with the popcorn, the famous popcorn oil. Okay. <laughs> so there's a special popcorn oil? There is. You there just is. don't use any type no, of popcorn? No. No. Oh. Because we are... It's, it's uh, more of coconut oil, okay. which is healthier option. Okay. And it's not as saturated as the other vegetable oil for okay. con consumption. Okay. So that helps so that our customers doesn't get packaged popcorn that is stained and saturated yeah. with oil. So, and then some of the popcorns that you have here, I feel like you taste the oil, like it's very yes. oily. Very, very oily, but it doesn't. This one, it doesn't taste. It doesn't at all. Wow. So as you can see here, it is, the oil is in there. The corn is about the corn. to the corn go is in gone in. It's gone in, yeah. sorry. And we add a little bit of glucose. Okay. Why the glucose? It holds the flavor together. Okay. okay. It holds the flavor, especially for packaging purposes. Okay. This does the trick as well. Okay. Yes. So as I, I wish we've got a time at a time, it would take about three, to less than five minutes. Less than five minutes. Yes. And we are just doing one cup of corn. So. That is the cup, if you can see here. Yeah. That was the cup that we used. That had the, yeah. So I'll just give you a big surprise to see how much product we get wow. at the end of the production. That's fantastic. Yes. So we are pouring the caramel sugar in there. In there. Okay. And then voila, we wait for it, fantastic. for it to get sorted out. So we automate the machine ourselves. Okay. So four means it's like cooking. So it's on the highest, I would okay. say. And then uh, we keep an eye on it and reduce it. And then once it's done, we pour it back here. But okay. I would explain everything to you. Okay. Get it all sorted out. But because we are approaching the end finish of the um, popcorn, let's just we need be to safe. Wait. Okay. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Food safety is very important. No, and that's the training that I've given my staff as Fantastic. well. That always, when we are getting closer to the product, we need to um, practice food hygiene okay. as well. Yeah. Fabulous. Okay. All right. Okay, so, so when it goes over here, mm -hmm. I know we're waiting for that to, mm -hmm. to cook, mm -hmm. but when it comes over here, what happens? So these are, what, what are these other? These are... It separates it. Exactly, okay. and debris from the end products. I remember, I don't know if... Um, when you were growing up, having popcorn, you could feel the, the, yeah. <laughs> the debris mm -hmm. in your mouth. So what this does is it cools it and it removes all the extra corn that couldn't pop and the debris out so that we can do our production. 
that's the whole purpose. So we've been doing production this afternoon, and these are some of some them. of the okay. And, and so, what do you do? Do you do anything with them? Do you just throw it away, or I throw it away? And sometimes when I see some chicken around, I oh, you give it to them. <laughs> <laughs> that's a good idea. Okay, so then from here, then what happens? From here, we move it to the packaging station here. Okay. So we cool it, bag it in our. How, how long do you cool it for? Maybe another five minutes, but all these are cooling agents. So okay. we've got the fans sitting here. Okay. So we package it. So as you can tell, you can, I can hear it popping yeah, now. It's yeah. popping now. It's very fast yeah. and very efficient. So we've reduced it to two. It used to be four, very high. But once we hear it popping, we reduce it to about two okay. or one, depending on what product we are making. Okay. So okay. that shouldn't take long. It takes about three to five minutes okay. to finish all the popping and then. And it yeah. goes there. And then, so this is where we do the packaging. Exactly. So after we transport it from there, we bring it to here. Okay. And honestly speaking, the space is a problem to us now because we started a small scale, but we are growing. You're growing. So eventually we would have to look at other ways that we would, huh, we would do our production because the space is not as big, but you know, because it's quite new, yeah. I wanted to start off and then quite see small. how I go, but yeah. it looks like we would have to eventually move okay. and get a bigger space to do our production. So this is the production area. Okay. So this is obviously for caramel and we've got the salt and then the chocolate here. Okay. So we do everything here. This is the nitrogen and then this is the gas that is connected. So the whole purpose and the whole idea is that this stores the food for a month anyway. Oh, regardless wow. okay and then this gives it the nitrogen that stores is about six, six to nine months oh that's brilliant yes okay. so i don't know if your viewers would remember when they buy potato chips or plantain chips in the mall it's like bloated up a it's little bloated. bit yeah exactly. that is the whole purpose okay and that stores the food and make it fresh okay for longer durations as well so without this, that will still stay for a month plus, a month. maybe a month to six weeks. Okay. With max. Max. Okay. And it's still fresh. So that's where we do our packaging as well. So because we've got the caramel going on, that is caramel. And then when we want to start off the salt, we remove you this notice. one. And then so in, in future, we would grow and buy probably two or three of this. Yeah. So production would move on easier for yeah. us. Yeah. Things are a little bit manually made here because it's new and we are learning. Yeah. Yes. So it cuts, the, the machine cuts it, it and everything? Does everything. Okay. So as you can see here, one of our workers is already done. Some, Let's have a look. Yes. It's already done some production oh. and she's already packaging it for our customers. Okay. And she's already done so it. So this is what it looks like afterwards. That's correct. So that's, that's the amazing. chocolate popcorn already packed and brought up here, ready to be sold. Ready <laughs> to be sold. Yes. So where are, where are, you, where are you like distributing your popcorn? Okay, so at the moment we are at WPJ store. It's like one of the biggest um, grocery stores in Tantra Hill. Okay. We are BCT Mart. We are ending our conclusion, the final conclusion stages with Palace Mall. Fantastic. And then also I've got people ordering pest, like uh, to our store. So they call the store line, they order it, we send our dispatch driver to deliver it to them. And we've just introduced global and bold food as well. Oh, fantastic. So you could get that. And we are looking at Haptel as well too. To so get I see that you out. have, you do events. So you have the popcorn. Yes. So these are our event popcorn machines. So okay. for example, if you call us for like your kids, especially your yeah. kids' birthday party, yeah. we can obviously carry the big one. Of course. We would have to take these little ones and then pop it fresh as well. But these days, I don't know what I've done to Ghanaians. They love <laughs> The, the package wow. one. So they are like, can you bring caramel? Can you bring chocolate? The kids love it. Wow. So it's tailored. It depends what the customer wants. Okay. And that's exactly what we do. Okay. If they want us to come and make it live there, which we do sometimes here and there, we take it to the location. We have a setup. These tables are for our setup. Okay. We go, we set up, we do our branding, and then we serve our customers as well. Fantastic. And we do have schools that we sell every day as well. So at the moment, I have about uh, a school, um, one school that I sell every single day. Oh wow! We started off about four schools, but I've tailored it to one because okay. of some few challenges from okay. headmistresses. Okay. But we have a school that we sell as well. So every you do single schools day. as well. So we if a school, school wanted to have your products, you can yes, we can distribute. distribute. They can reach us. We'll be able to do. We can do the packaging even into smaller sizes, depending what they want. Right. So we do tailored. You do tailored ordered, orders as well can you do bigger packs as well yes we can do bigger packs this christmas we are introducing bigger packs the ones in tins yeah like the american style yeah. like the bigger ones as well 
and then we've got people ordering to do um, what they call it, the Christmas package, and I don't know, they have oh, it yeah, as a, the, um, um, oh, the gift box. The like, gift boxes, yeah, 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 yes. Yeah. They've contacted us to um, organize some so they could add it to oh, gift amazing. box as well. So it's been very successful. I'm very fulfilled. Wow. I am happy. You're fulfilled now. I'm very fulfilled. And we are starting on the 1st of December at the West Hills Mall as well. So customers in Dansuman area, Kasua, um, West Hills Mall area, could come to our stand and um, get our popcorn as well. Okay. I think our popcorn is ready. Yes. What? So. <laughs> That's small popcorn? Yes. One cup. One cup? Yes. Look how much is made. Yes. Wow. So that's the whole idea. Um, this machine doesn't waste product. It doesn't. You, I, I can see that. <laughs> So as you can tell, we've turned on the cooling agent. Okay. Yes. And it just so look at how rich the caramel is. Wow. So I get our tasting girl to get us a little cup to taste as well. Mm. And then, um, so you see one cup. That's the cup here, my viewers. One cup. <laughs> one cup. Look. Look at this one cup. We made all of this. That yes. is incredible. Yes. Oh. So once you see the process, I think you appreciate it more. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So that calls for about five it minutes. It calls about five minutes. And then give us some because we are not wearing gloves. So yeah. serve us. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then we can uh, wow. try and see. And then you can give them as well. Oh, warm and nice. Mm. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Guys, you're missing out. You see the creativity. Yeah. We can and also can tell about, it's about not... popcorn. Mm. You would be like popcorn, <laughs> but this is the real deal, and she's making it yeah. all in Ghana. When you look at the imports, actually, there's a lot of companies that are importing popcorn, but you are coming to change that narrative. Yeah. So my biggest competitors are people importing. There is no Ghanaian doing what I'm doing. Wow. It's all imported from the UK, from America, some parts of Europe. But what I do here, I'm competing with these foreign companies. But our prices are very competitive as well. So I know that the path that we've taken, it will be successful. It will be successful yeah. because the likes of myself and my team are going to make sure that we push it. Thank you. It's about time that we have indigenous Ghanaians yeah. um, coming into the country, the diasporans coming mm. back and making an impact. Yeah. And if they're going to make an impact, we mm. need to support them. Yeah. Local Ghanaians need to support. Everybody yeah. needs to jump on board to make sure that you become successful. Thank you. And so Thank well you. done, kiddos. Thank you so much. For setting this up and having that dream and making sure that dream became fulfilled. Thank you. Now Thank you, you have created jobs. Yes. You're employing people. I'm employing people. December, the capacity we are looking at, because at the moment we are going to be at West Hills Mall. I need to have about two or three staff there every single yep. day. Yep. And here we have about four staff every day, wow. permanently. And then in the school too, we have one staff. And then also with the Christmas season, I have booked, I'm yeah. fully booked for events, like sometimes two or three. So I need to get new staff, staff which I've started. Also. So in all, I would say about 10 to 11 staff together. Well done. For a little business yeah. like that. That's yeah. fantastic. Yes. You're changing the lives yes. of those 11 to 12 mm -hmm. people that you're going and to employ. And we intend to grow. So once we move from here and we grow it, that's times two of Absolutely. that um, number. So, Absolutely. Um, yeah. Do you wish that you'd had that dream earlier? Yes. Dental, you have no idea, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I wish I had known what I knew, know now two or three years ago because I would have done things differently. I would have moved earlier. I would have done this earlier. Then the dollar was a bit better yeah, than now, but yeah. I'm very happy. I'm, I'm very fulfilled. The feedback has been amazing. I have loyal customers that buy every single day. Like my children. <laughs> Exactly. My children. And they deserve a Christmas box. So I've got <laughs> names of like certain clients, including wow. your kids, that I'm giving them. Because this, I just want to remember that in the UK or Australia or America, yeah. we have like local um, cafes or um, yes. coffee stores. And you know every single customer His that name, comes in. Yeah. And it's like that here. Oh. Now I know all my customers. Oh, that's amazing. And I'm making new friends. And your children are part of my customer list to give Yay. them Christmas. <laughs> Please add my yes. name, man. Not just the kids. No, 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 the kids. <laughs> no, 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 the kids. <laughs> I'm now a customer. I'm now a customer. Now. 
but the kids, especially your daughter, really? on the opening, oh my God, oh. she was amazing. Oh. She was amazing. She actually wants a job here. I saw her boy. She's been telling me that. Yeah. Oh, please. Maybe Saturdays, one Saturdays, hour. Saturdays, yeah, one hour. <laughs> She's she been telling in. me to come and make pancakes or come and do the popcorn. She loves it here. Yeah, she, she gets does. excited when she's yeah, here. Yeah, she does. And I see that you do like pineapple juices yes. as well. And yes. Okay. Yes. So Freshly I done. Do, I do okay. pineapple juice. I do mini waffles, mini pancakes. Um, we've started. I heard your samosas are the best too. Hey, sh <laughs> don't go there. <laughs> But the main goal is, is popcorn. Yeah. And then all the other ones are add just by the way yeah. to add on to give our customers a little bit of a different variety. experience and varieties to choose from. But this is the main goal and we are slowly achieving it fantastic. and I'm very, very excited fantastic. as well. Very, very happy. For so, so for the diasporans who are out there, still confused about coming, still like saying, you know, things are too hard in Ghana, mm -hmm. you can't make it in Ghana. What would your advice be to them? I would say yes, every, it's everywhere. Things are hard everywhere, whether in Australia, whether in the UK, whether in America. It's, it's normal. What I would tell them is that identify what you are passionate about. This is what I'm passionate about. I've identified it and I'm doing it wholeheartedly. I don't care if my workers are here or not, I would still do it every single day. So please identify what you have passion for and please get a mentor. So for example, if you want to do maybe food snacks, you could contact Denta, Denta can contact me. She's got like a perfect group, yeah, the Guba the di group, group, and then yeah. exactly, you can reach out to her and she will connect you. So for example, if maybe you want a restaurant business, she's got a whole lot of different people yeah. in the restaurant business. She can assist you instead of you coming and then putting yourself in the debt and going back after True. six months, we don't want get people support to go back. Yeah. and her business and what she does help some of you people out there to get connections to some of us here yeah, as well. Absolutely. So we are here to support. I'll give you any information that you need if you reach out to her yeah. and we'll be more than happy to help. But once you identify what you are passionate about, don't give up. I know it sounds cliche sometimes to people because everyone says, oh, don't give up, yeah. don't give up. <laughs> Motivational speakers, yeah. don't give up. But I'll re-emphasize that it means a lot when you start a business. Mm -hmm. Don't give up. Don't give up and don't give up. Do your research. YouTube is a good, fantastic platform. For me, with the popcorn business, honestly speaking, apart from the fact that I traveled to LA to learn, YouTube was like my second training center. Yep. I learned everything <laughs> on yep. YouTube. And I'll come and I'll try flavors here. And I'll be like, hmm, that's not what I'm looking for. I'll watch the YouTube video again and I reconnect and do it over and over again till I got it right. right. So there is other avenues that you can learn. So if you've got passion for something and you are still working in the diaspora, you can also um, search YouTube, reach out to Denta, or maybe other avenues that you feel can help bring out the passion in you. We all want to get fulfilled and I'm very excited to do what I love to do. That's amazing. <laughs> She is massively fulfilled and so am I because this is what I encourage. I encourage every single diaspora to come back home. We are the ones that are going to build our nation. Nobody else. Let's bring our skills back. Let's bring our talent and let's develop our people here as well. As she said, once she grows, she will make sure that the people that she works with, she'll employ people and she will grow and mentor people. This is the time for us to do that. Make sure that you join the diaspora group the Guba Diaspora Network, because there's a network that we are able to spread out and to encourage you to put you to the right connections. Like you said, even if you wanted to contact Rhoda, we will put you in touch with her. So join the network and make sure that we grow together. Do not give up. That's her words. Do not give up. Make sure that you get it, you go for it, and you do it.